looks at him. He's like, I then. So he starts charging up a ginormous one. So Goku's like, yo, chill. But Boo just smiles. Bruh said, bye bye. Later. This video is rated M for mature. Woo, yes, sir. Man, we back with another video. Woo. Hold on, let's finish this up. Kitty Crew! Yes, sir, yes, sir. We back with another video. Let's go. Yes, sir. Woo! Guys, hold on. Let me tell you something, guys, bro. We're almost, well, not even almost. We're, well, yeah, I can say almost. Dude, we hit a hundred. Wait, 1.1k, 1. 1 right? 1.1k? 1.1 yeah 1.1k but 1.130 mm -hmm. yeah 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 sir bro that was that was quick oh my god mm -hmm. guys we almost at 2k before, before we get into this video thank you all everybody so much and if you guys are new to the channel please be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel because we come out with straight breakers breakers and we stay lit on our channel let's go yes sir yes sir and we're gonna be reacting to cj the champ What's his name? CJ the Champ. Oh, I love that. Hold on. Wait, wait. Who's CJ the Champ, though? You'll see when we get into the video. Okay, bad. Also, wait. this is uh, a mature video. I'm going to have that in the front part of this video, okay? Like right now. Okay, so, yeah. anyways. <laughs> so, if you guys. Like I said, on new to the channel, please be sure to consider subscribing to our channel and let's get into the video. Mm -hmm. And make sure you join the Discord server. Yep, link in the description. <clears throat> Let's see. She walks up to this man and slaps him in the face. So then Boo looks at her and he says, Do you like eggs? And turns her into a literal egg. Dang. Says, I like my scramble. Bitch. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, uh -huh. CJ the champ. Oh, yeah! Okay, CJ the champ. Let's see what you're talking about. Menaces. <sighs> Truly terrifying creatures. Yep, of course. The mm -hmm. breed of the anime character in today's society. Mm -hmm. Boy, imagine getting stomped on like that, bro. Disrespect. And disregard for human life is just unmatched. That is why we made a round table for these oh, yeah. rare breeds of menaces. The, and the, the Black Air Force charge Energies mm -hmm. is a little pink ass. <laughs> this absolute menace, absolute demon, the ultimate Black Air Force, Majin Buu. This boy, nobody can mess with that little thing, bro. Of a hood. Like, this ain't even like a Black Air Force. This is a Black Tim, a Fila, a Shaq, a damn fool. This little nigga is just absolutely terrifying. There's a reason he's at the front. So, uh, y'all already know your boy got the evidence on deck. Of course. And it is finally mm -hmm. time to observe the ultimate menace. So, without further ado, <clears throat> Exhibit <clears throat> A. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So as we know, Majin Buu has multiple various forms. Of course. And with each form, mm -hmm. he gets even worse, worse to just outright what the f So obviously we have to start from the beginning. So I present to you Exhibit A, Fat Buu. So as we know, Goku and Vegeta are fighting right now, and that's giving all the energy for Buu to win. Head, head so when Buu hatches see who's out his strongest. shell and everybody sees him, everybody's looking like, you telling me this fat ass Captain D's Patrick Star Kirby looking motherfucker is a terror of the universe? <laughs> you gotta be kidding, right? Like, look at him, he's waddling. So, DeBoer is looking at Bobby like, really, my boy? You was really hyping all this up? <laughs> what a pity. So then Boo looks over at him and he's like, boy, I know you ain't talking sh with that receding ass hairline like that. <laughs> You're still worse than Vegeta. So then Boo starts steaming. And then he <laughs> he's like, he reminds me of him, my papa girl. And he gouges out his eye. Oh. And he's like, nah, 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 boo boo. Shut your stupid ass up. <laughs> <laughs> <This> <laughs> man, you see this? He out the mm -hmm. Demon King with a kick. Look at Gohan. He like, ain't no way, boy. I just had a whole three episode fight with this man, and he just kicked him like a rag doll. Ah, hell no. Time to go. So why are they flying? Booting already caught up. Oh, 
know where y'all think y'all going. The fun just getting started. Look at Supreme. Can't, Con, he like can't mess with oh Fat Boo God. either. I'm about to die. Man Street up clapped his face. <laughs> he just started beating the brakes off his ass. Then this man wow. comes from the top rope like the Big Show and sits on his ass. Ooh. His ribs, his organs, his spine. Oh, that man is done. So then <laughs> Gohan comes in and tries to stop him, but Boo said, get your bum ass out my sight. I know. You ain't strong oh, how you used to be anymore. Oh, I'm wrong. <laughs> God, send my boy flying. So then Deborah comes back and tries to lay the hands on him again, but he literally turns this man into a cookie and he straight up devours this Oh no. One bite. Oh nah, bro. This wow. man literally just turned the Demon King into a damn gingerbread man and devoured him in one bite. So then Vegeta pulls up, but. <laughs> Come on, y'all. It's Vegeta. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Vegeta's my favorite character, and I already knew he was gonna get his ass beat. So he yeah. wraps him up and traps exactly. him. And look at him skipping. He's like, hippity doo da. I'm about to whoop that ass. Yippee! Here we go. Boom! Straight up booted, man. Then he comes from the top oh, of the no. and oh. Yeah! Damn! This bro just started pounding the meek, 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 <laughs> or so we thought. This man really <laughs> rebuilt himself and he is still kicking, bro. So after this, dude just goes on. <laughs> that Kirby right song went, he went to this one city, so he's like, all right, everybody bring that. Yeah, because he do like but a then he's like, all right, what I want to eat? Cake or candy? Mm, candy. So he turns everybody in that city into candy. The man started inhaling them like Kirby. And wow. this man just really gobbled up this entire town in the amount of seconds. Then he decided to spit it out. And bro just laid out the entire city. Then he went to the next one, lifted them up, and turned every single wow. one of them into wow. a chocolate bar. So after this, Goku finally pulled up and pulled out SS3. After, you know, like, screaming his ass off for, like, the entirety of the damn episode. Man was looking like he was taking the fattest doodle of his life. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, though. Goku was beating the brakes off his though. Man grabbed him by his antenna and started playing paddle ball with him. Boy, boing, boy boing, he boing, was boing, he was boing. not having it, bro. Like he is doing this with no Goku effort. was not having he it, bro. He throws him into an entire building. Bro, Goku, bro. I thought you was all about saving the people of Earth, but apparently not. Bro, chucked him into a bunch of innocent people and chucked him into a whole building with probably people still in it. And look at him, he like, man, f them niggas. We'll wish him back with the Dragon Balls. So then Goku <laughs> and he's like, oh, oh listen, my boy. I'm about to run out of time, so I got a proposition for you. Wait two days, and there's gonna be a warrior that's gonna wanna box you. And also, stop listening to that bum ass chameleon. Like, for real, my boy, you show sure awesome. So after Goku dips, who's like, man, you know what? He was right. So he grabs him and punches his head off. <laughs> and bro chucked him and Yo. blew him to smithereens. Yo. Look at him, he's like, ah, yes. <laughs> Boo free man. Hip hip hooray, no more bum ass chameleon. So later on, he's flying around and then he's like, Dang, bro. Who does time, not man? play? So he oh, stops God. in the middle of the road in front of this truck. So the dude in the truck is like, hey, get your fat ass off the road, huh? So Boo turns around and he says, Mister, I have a question. Am I handsome? Then the dude in the truck like, hell no, nah, nigga, you get no bitches. Now get the fuck out the road. Then he looks at him and he's like, sit your stupid ass up. <laughs> truck who ain't got shit on me. So then he says, you know what? This is a good spot for a house. So he lifts everybody up, turns them into Play-Doh, and builds a literal house out of them. What? He's dead ass on creative mode at this point. No, so like literally. Literally, yo. So he sees he's boats and he's like, hmm, boom play with boats. So this man starts skating on the water and bro blasted through the ship. So homie right here is drowning, so then he grabs on the boo. And boo's looking at him like, nigga, get your bitch ass off me. The dog <laughs> sent him to the moon. Yo. So then Goku Yo, pulls up boo, and dang. Know, this is shit. Dang. Like, I knew I watched it, but I, I didn't remember, remember all that. Oh, don't think I'm done. Oh, Pillsbury, dope boy looking ass. Oh, 2012, these can't hold me back. Rick Ross looking ass. 
But but y'all already know Boo was not having that disrespect. So we just started beating the brakes off his little ass. Man, it was like he was playing with me. Climb back. Up, oh. He's like, oh yeah, he was talking about that good the second ago, and now look at you beat the f up. Exactly. Man, send that boy to the shadow room. So then after this, Mr. Satan pulls boy. up, and they actually become friends. So they outside playing with this dog, and this hunter ends up shooting the dog. Wow. Oh, dude, so who's not like, the dog. Oh, what, what, what is this debauchery? Am I feeling some dog, type of sympathy bro. right now? What the oh, dog do? So he after this, Boo starts steaming again, and then he shoots out this cloud, and in that cloud is another Boo, but he's skinny hey, yo, and he's gray. Then he walks up to him and he's like, "Hey, nigga, did I just catch you feeling some type of sympathy? We don't do that." <laughs> So he starts punishing hey, yo. Man, beating the absolute hey, brakes off of him. So Boo shoots his beam at him, but bro blows it away and it hits him and he turns into chocolate. And bro just <laughs> ate him. And then he starts to transform. So yeah, that was exhibit A and it's time to move on to exhibit B. Oh man. Alright ladies and gentlemen. The tall one. I present to you exhibit B. Yep. Super. Boo. Super so Boo, the tall see, one. Boo has turned into the Super Boo. The Boo's the strongest in my opinion. It mm -hmm. just started to get outlandish. So the first thing that this man does is jump in homie's mouth. Pause! What? No, like, hey, yo, pause, bro. Actually discussing. I'm not showing this. But anyway, so he ends up blasting off to the lookout. So when he gets to the lookout, he's like, all right, listen up. I was promised a fight two days ago that there's going to be some strong ass. So produce that ass. Come on now, chop, chop. Don't be shy. So Piccolo ends up making a grave mistake. So Goten and Trunks aren't ready to fight. So he ends up saying, there's plenty of other people on earth that you can kill for your amusement while you wait. So Boo's like, I bet. So he starts walking around the lookout and he's surveying how many humans are left alive right now. So after he's done, he lifts up his hand and uses human extinction attack. And he straight up deletes the entire hey, human yo. population. So after he's done, yo. he's like, all right, I'm done. Now bring that ass. This. So Piccolo's like, all right, listen, listen, my boy. I mean, I don't watch, I mean, I, I watch Dragon Ball Z, but not like that. Like, I mean, you no. probably know. Hell no. So then Fidel starts talking. She's like, it's just an hour. I hope you're not scared or you're a chicken. Then Boo looks at her. He's like, shut your stupid ass up with that cell soccer Gohan cut you got going on right now. Matter of fact, I should just kill you. So then Piccolo's like, yo, just chill out, bro. Just wait the hour. So about five minutes later, while Boo's waiting, Chi Chi does one of the dumbest things I have ever seen. No, Chi Chi. She walks up to this man and slaps him in the face. So then I remember that looks at her and he says, do you like eggs? And turns her into a literal egg. Then he said, I like my scramble, bitch. Bro, I know he Goku was boy. Into an egg and stomped her like a roach in front of her son. Oh my God. So about half the you time like passes eggs. now and Boo's like, hey. you know what? I'm done with this wait. Bring that ass now. Piccolo was like, bro, it's only been 30 minutes. I was like, ah, 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 ah. I'm done with this. If I don't get this fade right now, I'm deleting all y'all. So Piccolo takes him to the hyperbolic time chamber so he can fight Gotenks. So he's back there and he's like, really? These little goofy ass niggas? All right, that then. <laughs> so they start to do the fusion dance, but Boo blitzes trunks and socks. <laughs> So Trunks is like, yo, bro, chill. How you gonna attack a that's transforming, bro? That's anime rule number one. You just committed taboo. So when they finally <laughs> use Boo's like, oh, it's you. I already ran your fade once, but <laughs> I guess I'll do it again. So yeah, bro, Boo was just bullying him again. Oh, was straight up jungle man and sent him all the way back to the door. Like, look at man's bro. He's just chilling, living his best life. So after this, Piccolo ends up destroying the hyperbolic time chamber. So he's like, ha ha, now nobody can get out of here. So Boo's like, ain't no way, bro. Boy, ain't no way, boy. If I'm stuck in here, I ain't getting no more candy. Oh, now this just won't do. So this boy, Boo was mad. A hole and tear it open the dimension. So Bruh just straight up slithered away. So he comes back outside and starts looking at everybody. And then he says, Chocolate? Chocolate! 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 Wow. 
Wow. Wow. This man just turned the entire cast into chocolate. Bro straight up devoured their souls. So later on when he's fighting Gotenks again, they end up unfusing. So bro just fell asleep. Bro said it ain't even worth it at this point. So then ultimate Gohan pulls up. And, and this man wanted all the smoke. Bro straight up stared homie down and said, I'm gonna kill you. And he started laying the hands. Oh, yeah, he was. Yeah, he bro was. was looking like he was fighting Cell again. But of course it didn't last long. Man straight up absorbed Gotenks and Piccolo. And Gohan literally sat there and watched him do it. So then after this, it was raps, bro. He was beating the brakes off. Yeah, him. it was So then raps. Tien shows up. Boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't Boy. take it seriously. <laughs> Tien? Yeah, bro, get your ass out of here. Oh, go, like, boy. Absorbing Gohan, too. So then he ends up smacking around Goku and Vegeta like they some damn rag dolls. <laughs> so then they have to resort to using Vegito. Man, oh man. This was a undeniable ass whooping. Vegeta was smacking yeah. him. Yeah, he was. Like, it wasn't even funny. So after Goku and Vegeta beat the brakes off of Boo and rescue everybody that he's absorbed, he starts to transform again. And dear God, it's time for Exhibit C. So, oh, without further ado, Kid Exhibit boo, C. Bro. The strongest Boo. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Strongest we Boo. We have finally reached the climax. And Lord have mercy. May God help us all. Exhibit C consists of Kid Boo. So as we can see, Boo is transforming right now from this really big buff form. And Supreme Kai is losing his mind right now. He's like, oh my God. Oh my God, it's him. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. The ultimate Black Air Force. No, 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 let me not even say that. The ultimate menace, Kid Boo. So Vegeta's like, look, Kakarot, the little got smaller. And they hella confident right now. So Boy. This is happening. Supreme Kai is having PTSD right now. Bro's like, yo, this is the dude that killed all of the Kais. West Kai, gone. North Kai, gone. South Kai, gobbled up. Grand Supreme Kai, dead. You want to know why I became Supreme Kai? Because everybody else is dead. So stop acting like this sweet. So Boo starts admiring the scenery. So bro's like, hmm, time to assert my dominance. Boy, how did they kill Kid Boo again? I don't remember. Then right after he had to blow himself up or something. blast immediately. So Vegeta stops it from hitting, and Goku's like, yo, this nigga was about to blow up the planet. So then Vegeta's like, hey, yo, try that shit again, nigga. I wish you would. So Boo turns around and looks at him. He's like, all right, then. So he starts charging up a ginormous one. So Goku's like, yo, chill. But Boo just smiles. Bro said, bye-bye. Literally. This man blew really up just a planet. Up, blew up the planet for no reason at all and didn't even say a word. You know, villains always be saying, hmm, I'm gonna destroy Earth. Frieza, fair. Well, I mean, he did do it in Resurrection F, though, but he did it like a though. So, I'm gonna blow up the Earth and there's nothing you can do. Fair. Boom. Bro, I didn't even say a word. He just just did it. I mean, we should have known he was about that life when the first episode he shows up in mm. is called The End of Earth. So after this, this man rebuilds himself almost immediately, learns instant transmission, then starts going from planet to planet, blowing up every single one searching for Goku and Vegeta. Man said, that fate is not running away from me. So then Boo does one of the craziest things I have ever seen. And this is where he submitted himself in my books as the ultimate menace. He went to heaven to beat the brakes off a of dead guys. I beg your pardon? He went to go get more smoke from the dead ops. Look at Krillin and Yamcha, right. they like, oh my God, bro. Ain't no way this is happening right now. Boo said, that rest in peace. I'm whooping that ass again. So this man starts beating the brakes off of everybody. My God, bro, he killed wow, him with a three-piece combo then started suplexing him with his <laughs> antenna. So now this man is ready to wipe everybody from existence. But then he senses Goku and Vegeta again, and he's like, oh, time to go. I'm like, bro, imagine you were in heaven. So he went to heaven and still and beat them up. Trying to get some more smoke. Like, bro.
that that's just outlandish. So he pulls up to the Kai world and he's like, ah, yes, <laughs> my fade. So he starts fighting Goku. <laughs> and while he's fighting this man, this man starts emoting, laughing and dancing while he's pummeling this man. Look, bro, can't even form he words, like but he's still talking shit. Like. <laughs> you bitch, nigga. But <laughs> what we really have to get to, though, is the absolute violation, absolute ass whooping he gave to Vegeta. Like, good God, he was pummeling this man. Mm -hmm. He was saying, hmm, looks like I'm gonna have to make your hairline more f***ed up than it already is. So Vegeta just ends up getting laid out. But then he ends up getting back up to Boo's life. Mm. Always hold his so arm. Like, ah. He guy. always hold his then, arm, bro. Consider this initiation. So Bra ends up indenting his foot in his spine. Then the nigga said, go moon no moon no. And started choking the life out of man's bro. Oh my god. And that was all she wrote for Vegeta. He he was done. So then Mr. Satan wanted some smoke, but come on, bro. So then Fat Boo pulls up. So Kid Boo like, hmm, booga booga booga. If it isn't the big ass bubble gum shrimp looking motherfucker. So we just started wailing on Fat Boo, bro is wailing on himself. He is fading the good version of himself. Look at him, bro decided to take a whole time out on him. Then he grabs him and starts gut checking him. Bro said, I'm about to make you lose your breakfast, lunch, and your dinner. And Fat Boo was done too. So the way they had to beat this man is just absolutely mind boggling. They had to get everybody, the whole damn earth, to give this man Goku some energy so he could extinguish this damn minute. Literally. literally. And he started to push it back. But the plot kicked in, and the ultimate menace was slain. Yep, it was gone. I forgot about that. It was the spirit bomb. Mm -hmm. And ladies and gentlemen, that is why little homie sits in the front. Like, some of the stuff he was doing was just unexplainable. He faded the entire cast, blew up the earth on the first episode he showed up in, faded his ops in heaven, as well as deleting the entire human population. <laughs> Dog. So yeah, that's basically No, like literally, so, uh, he just straight up did all of that. Sure follow your boy on IG and Twitter. I'll have the poll up for the next video the day after this is uploaded. And uh, I'm out of here. Bro. Do not mess with Kid Boo. Dude, don't mess with Kid Boo, bro. Dude, he, Kid Boo did not play around. He didn't. Cell, he was super strong and he played around. Frieza. Played around. Played around. He could have blew up the earth too. But guess what? He played around. Dumb, bro. Like, boo, just first episode, earth blow up. Dang, that's crazy. I forgot about that. Wait, 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 wait. Kid could, uh, I mean, I don't watch Dragon Ball Z like that, but what about Vegeta? What you mean? Well, um, was he? No, no, he wasn't evil, right? No, he was. The start. The mm, yeah, start yeah, yeah, yeah. From the start. Could he? Could he? blew up the um earth at the time yeah he could have if he wanted to i mean remember uh goku could have too all he has to do is go to the like like far away and then mm -hmm. charge up a super kameo wave and just shoot it out the earth and that's it mm -hmm. yeah you're right you're right but yeah bro guys if you like what you no nah, that's your that's if you guys like what you see please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys in the next video see you Peace later out.